In this video, which is part 16 of the coin market cap chart, what we're going to do here is we're going to start to do the zoom in functionality and then we make sure that the interpolation will be as aligned as possible. Just a quick note, you might notice that the scroll is slightly a bit laggy. And the reason why is I realized after making the video, I forgot a chunk of code, just a tiny bit of code, which I will cover in the next video, which will make everything go again very smooth afterwards. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue on and this is part 16 and we have to solve the interpolation when we zoom in. So when we zoom in, what happens is basically that the width here is being calculated and it's calculated by based on how many, many data points we have. And this of course is, will become uh, problematic because right now you can see here as we do this interpolation, look at it, it doesn't understand exactly where. So let's solve that specific part of the interpolation. So we're going to scroll down here and we have to go here to the inter or the Y interpolation. Uh, let's see if I just control F and I say Y interpolation. There you are. That's the one we need. And within here, basically this formula is becoming a troublemaker because here we have the width based on the date length. But now this is not anymore the case. If we zoom in that the date length will be different because now we have a different starting point here. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how much is the difference of that date length. So what I'm going to do here now is the following. We're going to figure out here how we can get the correct uh, length of our segments. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to say a constant segment. And then we say equal. Then we have here the width. But the width will be divided by two items. Basically, the difference between the uh, max value that we have, the x max value, and the x min value. So, well, let me just put this back here and let's comment this out and just show you what I'm talking about. So, remember, we have still this part of the scales. And remember, we had the x scale dot min in the, that we covered in a previous video. So, we can now get here. The console log and it's going to say is scales dot uh, sorry not even that we can say x not min and if we just do this we can copy that one and do here the x dot max save that refresh all right then open up developer tab if i will now scroll and then part or move that's the one we need you can see here we will get here the official value and right now the value is i'm not sure if it's consistent is it it tends to be consistent. All right. But sorry, it's not consistent. The moment we scroll, it changes. So as you can see here, so this is very important for us because with that, we can now start to measure our item. So what I want to do here is the following. This min, we need to get the index number of the current state of that one. For that, we need to have here the dates. We're going to get here on the dates. And then what we're going to say here, the index of and then we're going to put in this here. So what really happens now is we're going to grab here, what is the starting index number, that one, and here the ending index number. Because those two together will give us the value of how many data points we're seeing. Save this, refresh. All right, now scroll. And then we get here now the values. And if I move, you can see here, this is apparently number 18. So May, I'm not sure what May this is, May, 18, 19 or something, maybe 20 plus, that would be 18. And you can see here, our one is 199. So if I keep on scrolling, we still got 199. Uh, apparently we do, am I correct? 199 here for the max, all right, interesting. So are we zooming in the max if I do that? For some reason, it does move here, but it does uh, respond very, very unpredictable. I will have to check later on on that one. However, we get this one here. That's the most important one. And then later on, I'm going to check on that. What's going on there? So what we're going to do here now is we're going to just copy this, this item. And what I want to do here is, or let's say that first we get the maximum value. So we're going to remove this, the maximum value, minus the minimum value of the date, which is the array index. This will give us the, the new width value. So we can do that one if I save this and I guess 
I should do it in there, but it doesn't matter. But what we can do now is comment log. We should see here the segments will change in the or the amount of the width in pixels of the segment will change. Save that. Refresh. All right. Then now, if I scroll this, what will happen? We get a value here. All right. That's interesting. It gets even a uh, negative value. So I need to double check this one. Let's see. So we have the min minus max, and then divide by that. All right, so the reason why this happens, my bad, priority. I need to give this a priority because the division will be prioritized over the negative or the subtraction. Save, refresh. Now scroll, you can see here now, as we scroll and zoom in, our uh, pixels should increase. As you can see here, it starts to increase the X amount of items. And you can see now it's four pixels in width. And if we keep on going, we should have bigger and bigger space there we are so that is the first part but of course let me just close that we have to now work on the interpolation on that part so let's look what is still not correct so we have this here we have this next one i want to do is the index here and the index here is this divided by segments all right but what happens now is we divide it by segments but then it calculates here what's called the index number. Uh, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to remove all that or comment out that. I'm going to say here, console log. So perhaps you're not sure anymore what that was. If I save this, refresh, open up developer tab. And now we have the index number here. And this one here is always zero. Even if I scroll, what happened? It is always zero. And I don't want that now. Because when I scroll and zoom in, this part should increase based on whatever we have on the min value here. So what I'm going to do here is very straightforward. We're going to say here the dates min, this date index dot, uh, uh, basically this one here. We're going to say here in the segments, once it calculates everything here. So what I need to do here is I need to give this uh, probably a priority. Say this math dot floor. All right, this is correct. This should be floor. So let's let this be here and then we say plus this and then here another parenthesis am i correct or apparently not so we have this floor calculate the floor first and then we add up here the index because we get here the index number plus whatever index number we're starting on so this is this helps us with the starting point so if i save this now i refresh i should move here now if i scroll here now I'll go back here. You can see here, because of my scrolling now, the starting point is now number eight, because it's now the 19 May instead of 11 May, as today's 11 May. So that helps us to give us the right value. All right, so now we have the index here. So index is solved. This is a solved as well. So next one, what we need to check here is on this item here, our starting point, the Y start and ending point. So now to do this, what I want to do here is let's see I need to calculate is this does this need to be adjusted let me double check here we have the y get value and plus that and then this is with the index I think this is already fine so if I save this let me just save it and refresh and let's see if our interpolation works nicely now all right so you can see here the interpolation works absolutely phenomenal I do notice sometimes as you can see here it would just like this here it jumps up and I don't know exactly what's the reason for that one probably probably somewhere there's still a miscalculation I will have to look for that one but I will not spend too much time on finding this answer so I will not know when I will find the answer on that one. anyway the margin of error here is still quite tiny I will accept that for now and later on I will just try to see if I can find that one as you can see here we are slightly more up and down and Although here it's quite high, but that's all right for now. For now, I'll accept that one. So if I zoom in, let's look again. We do get the values and they work almost nicely, almost. So most likely there's some pixel, pick, we're just a few pixels off, but I guess this is quite acceptable. And there we are. So now we have this and I want to continue on with the zoom. And the reason why the zoom has an issue here I zoom in and we are just controlling one or the other and especially this one here seems to be a bit off so I have to solve on that one 
but the reason why I want to solve this is if we zoom, for example, if I scroll here, I want to zoom in this part, but if I scroll here, I want to zoom in here instead of deducting it from here, pushing it more to the right. So that requires some more complex functionality within the zoom function. 